in order to receive notifications from a private service, without using the Firebase services, we have to create a little script, which returns the latest available notification. Normally, such a feature is connected to a database, but for this example we generate notifications at hoc. On our web server, we create a new, empty script, for example, Android PHP. If you prefer not to do so, you may use our script, which can be used for testing purposes. We open the file in our preferred editor and add the following code. We then test the script in our browser. The only data which is changing at this point, is the dateline. If your server returns a blank page or an error message, then something is missing. In particular, make sure to open and close functions and strings properly and terminate each code line with a semicolon. If you have access to the error logs, these provide more details about the location and the type of the error. In our Android application, we open the worker class. Here we add the functionality to download and view the notifications. For now, we disable the recreation of a new worker instance. We make a web request to our server and download the latest notification. The log shows us now the received data. In order to examine the data, we convert it accordingly. This parameter tells if the data was available. We extract the additional data. Finally, we show the data as a notification message. The function for downloading data makes a synchronous request. We can do this here without problems, since the worker runs already on a separate thread. Here we define the full address to our script. The request method should always be post, because it has several big advantages. For example, no codification is required, and contents have very large size limits. If parameters are given, they are set at this point. Now, the function waits for the reply and fills a string builder with the incoming data. This data is then shown and further expanded. This function shows the actual notification on the notification bar of the device. Since this class has no user interface, we must retrieve the application context from the system. The large image visible within the notification is usually the application icon. This intent can be viewed when the notification is clicked. This part of the function builds the notification. If the version is not correct, older devices may have problems to view some or all features. If you do not want sound or vibration, comment this line.
This function extracts a specific string, or sets a default value if missing or invalid. This image represents the large icon within the message. If the notification manager is null, the application is not allowed to view notifications. Let's try what we get so far. No notification has been generated. Experience tells, a mandatory parameter is missing. In our case, the small icon for the notification bar has not been sent. We copy its name and create a new icon. Let's try again. Now, the notification is there.
let's set a more reasonable interval and try again, this time with the recreation enabled. Let's also check the background functionality. That's all for today. Thank you for watching.